did it. He's got, got the finest words in the world. Haven't you? Yes, oh my god, fussed in stereo. Oh my god. Fussed in stereo. Hello. <laughs> Hello, this is Mr. Puss Pants. The world famous allotment kitten. And if you are a regular viewer of our allotment vlogs, you will of course know this. Of course. We literally, as soon as we were here, he came come he came out of our greenhouse. He must have been having a little kip in there. Yeah, people have told us he sleeps in the greenhouse sometimes when we're not here. So he was home, he, he lived, he does have a home and a family. We love him very much and yes. care for him very much. It is vlog 101, 101 of our allotment adventures here on Plot 25, it isn't it? certainly is. It's day after my birthday. Yes. And tomorrow's our anniversary. Yes. Um, so yesterday we went to the lovely Upper Mill, which is a gorgeous, quaint little village. Uh, very near where we lived, didn't yeah. we? And we had a lovely... Um, <laughs> we had a lovely lunch. Pop the vlog up there for you to have a look. Uh, should you? It's well worth watching, actually. Give you a, a taste of Northern England. As is often the case, it's a short one, but we think we, we think we fit, fitted quite a lot in to it, didn't we? We did. We did indeed. Sights, sounds, and food. And there's a lot going on here. The um, as I'm in the shop today. And Jay's brought, brought the strimmer down, haven't you? Too? Yeah, got a new, uh, you ordered some new spools yes, um, for the strimmer. Spools. So I'm gonna do a bit of strimming, gonna get the, I think, get the lawnmower sorted out for somebody else who wants to use it today. Um, so we're just gonna crack on with general, I mean, essentially what I'm, what I'm gonna do while you're in the shop is I'm gonna start with the horse tail that's already coming through in our beds and try and keep on top of that and then yeah. if we've got time I'm going to start tackling some of the weeds in the other beds so we can get the weeds down and put plastic over the beds, the, the areas that we're not using. I think that's the key isn't it? Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, priority is shop responsibilities, mower responsibilities and weeding with a bit of help from Mr Puss Pants. Yeah and snuggling this fluffy bum. <laughs> This fluffy bummer, yes, yes. All of the snuggles for the fluffy bum. Yes, yes, yes indeed. Uh, I know. <laughs> uh, right, so welcome back to uh, Plot 25 and another allotment adventure. Well, let's get to bloody work. Looks like the love lost strawberries, brother. Thank you. 
So, we've got a cup of strawberries to take home. Nice. Might have them with some ice cream. Yeah, that might be nice. You know. Yeah. Are we trying some of these? Yeah, we've got a few of the uh, the smaller berries, the red berries. Red currants. Yes. And black currants. Yeah. And two raspberries. <sighs> Not going to be able to see them. There's a few each. Do you want that as well? Because we eat them separately. Let's try them first. Yeah, they're the red currants. Mm. Oh, I love that smell, boys. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> yeah, alright. Yeah. Not filming here. Yeah. Yeah. It's alright though. This is our mate, Sandra. Come on and say hi. Yeah. No, you have to. <laughs> I'll go around the back. You have to, so Sandra. Really scruffy. <sighs> There. Hello! There we go. This is Sandra. You're a monkey, you've put me on here. We <laughs> just um, we just picked some of our. Just picked some. They are young. They, those strawberries look great. Do you want one? Yeah. Please. To be fair, we did all right with our Thank strawberries you, last year. Oh. They're okay. Mm. No. Yeah. Great we'll be back with you momentarily. Business Hi. first. Yeah. <laughs> Round envelope time. <laughs> um, so that was uh, our pal Sandra, and uh, she's the treasurer on the committee and has been for a couple of years she's brilliant with finances and this was um, a letter uh, that all plot holders have been given about so this is now that we've officially got the letter we can review another issue that's gone on here the council used to always pay for the water here on the entire site because it's an old council site then so it was an old builders yard or something many years ago mm -hmm. and then it got passed over to be an allotment site so the site has always paid for the wastewater there's only two toilets here uh, the site's always paid for that and that's about 300 pound per annum however um, it would seem that somebody on a previous committee uh, contacted the water board for some reason and changed changed it all and said uh, uh, so that now there's a water meter here and every plot holder will have to pay a proportion of the water bill come the end of the year every year mm. and the water bills could be anywhere between one and three thousand pounds that's possibly going to be between fifteen and a hundred pounds for each plot holder water bill on top of their rent so that's another reason now that's kind of concreted it for us that this is we've decided going to be our last year here yeah um we might look at more uh, allotment sites but it's very it's highly likely that we're just going to use our garden and we've got a great garden there that's where this all started it is isn't it yeah. it is where it all started we, to be fair yeah so it could just be that we end up becoming home gardeners and growing stuff there um, 
keep your eye out for further updates. Uh, should we have one of these? Yeah. So these are. Let's have these as well because there's only two. Black currants. Oh. A little bit tarty. Mm. <laughs> I love that about black currants though. I love that. I mean, because red currants are inherently sweet. I need this as a ch chaser. And a little raspberry. No critters in there. I checked. Mm. Yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. Really nice. Mm. So, yeah. The so, berries are coming through nicely in Berry Boulevard now. Yeah. Obviously, last weekend we blitzed it as best as we could with the weeding. We did. Today's been a bit of a funny one, really, because obviously Paul's had an hour in the shop doing his thing down there. I just kind of got stuck in and wanted to try and get as much cleared as possible. He's a good lad. Paul's come back from the shop, done some weeding, a little bit of TLC, a little bit of maintenance, just trying to tackle, really, the stuff on the plot that is an eyesore and big, and also the, the weeds that are coming through in the beds to keep on top of the weeding that we've already started over the last couple of weeks. Randomly, only one of our courgettes uh, plants uh, bloomed. Mm. I did about seven seeds all different. You saw yeah. a few weeks ago, only one of them, the black courgette, so that's in the bed. All the others have failed this year, which is really strange because we've always had really good luck. With, with courgettes. With courgettes. Yeah. Very good luck. We have got, I mean, this doesn't mean any, anything at this stage, um, and I haven't shown you today. I'll show you in a couple of weeks when there's something worth seeing, but the sweet potato has got some leaves coming up. Yeah, it's, flat, it's, it's bloomed. So one, one, of one, them, one, of, one of them has, the other one hasn't. Uh, but one of them's bloomed, so uh, at the very least we know we're getting martyrs, taters, berries and um, gourds. Happy can't, days. can't grumble, can we? And then as we inch towards the end of the year, you will notice that things will start to dwindle here. We'll take the shelving units apart and we'll get them home. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, all the, everything that any of you wonderful people have bought us here will be coming home. Oh, without a doubt, yeah. We'll, we've, I'm not yeah. leaving anything yeah. at all. Yeah. Uh, apart from what was here when we took it on. We won't take anything that, you know, that came with the site, like the horse pipe and stuff like that. Absolutely. And, yeah. You know, all that will stay here. Um, but we're still going to enjoy the uh, the rest of the year. It's, it just feels like a right slog mm. these days. Um, yeah, that's the only way to say it. It feels like a big, like there's always a load of stuff to do here. Yeah. Cause, because of the horse tail situation um, or oh, yeah, oh, stay. the first year um we tackled it little and often and we kept on top of it and i think that's the gen down yeah that's the general rule of thumb so i suppose you know we have over the last few weeks we've gone on about the horsetail and the weeding situation quite a bit in general um don't let that put you off if you are out there i know there's quite a few of you that watch that are growing stuff at home and i think you'll be just fine oh yeah you should be fine at home horsetail seems to be an allotment thing if you are on an allotment um and you're, you're struggling with the horsetail the only advice we can give you really is what we learned from the first year which is just keep pulling it just keep as pulling deep it. down as you possibly can there's the trick try and get as deep down as you possibly can yeah get as much of the, if you can get all the roots out brilliant yeah brilliant but just get as deep down as you can get it out keep getting it out keep burning it or drowning it so put it in a bucket submerge it with water put a brick on top uh, you can use the water after uh, apparently because it's full of silica right um, so it does plants good um, so yeah but yeah productive got a lot done today we have um, not all doom and gloom by any means as oh, Paul no. said before we've got the rest of this season to look forward to yeah um, we've got a plethora of plums to look forward to I would imagine again this year yeah um, so there's plums as well I got a lovely little close-up of the one pear that's coming through on the pear tree earlier on. I hope you saw that one. Uh, hopefully, we made, a, we made a pear tart tart ta last year with the one pear that grew on the tree. We did. we did. Yeah, so I think I think that's it for today, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm looking forward to going home, having a cold beer um, uh, before I start editing. Yeah, it's a celebratory weekend. Like I said, my birthday is today, our anniversary tomorrow, on the day you're seeing this. Yeah vlog we'll have been together 26 years and married for 14 
Oh, isn't that great? <laughs> it was a kiss. Love you. Mm. Mm. Love you. Love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you again very soon. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. From us and Mr. Puss Pants. Bye, loves. I miss him. I miss him when we go home. Yes. Just a few, just a few, cause come on, come on, here. There we go. Chew your food, mister. See through the week. If not, see through the week.